Hey guys, welcome back to another Utah Macross Gacha video. It's been a week since my last Gacha video, and Kaname's Gacha plus Reina's Gacha are both out um, for about more than two days already each. So, if you're wondering why did my Gacha video hasn't been released on time, basically, uh, Anime Festival Asia, in short, AFA. Uh, just concluded and if you guys haven't been following me on my cross space time day culture you probably have no clue uh, why I actually took a hiatus from most of my YouTube stuff um, just for anime festival Asia it's because well Juna Mikumo's singing voice has finally appeared in Singapore to attend AFA uh, not of, of course not forgetting Mayan who is the ambassador for AFASG she's here she's been here for 11 years consecutively um, since AFA's beginning until now so yeah uh, it's it's a full day culture weekend for me uh, so I get to hear Juna live in my own country although it's not my first time listening to her sing uh, I have attended Macross Crossover Live so thank goodness for that as well. I was pretty lucky to get tickets for it. And yeah, now I get to hear Juna uh, doing a solo within Singapore's AFA, uh, which is fantastic. So yeah, if you guys want to know what song she actually sang, um, well, the song list is all on Macross Space Time Dead Culture, so go check it out as well. And yeah, let's get back into Uta Macross and whatever I've been doing for you, my YouTube channel uh, bit by bit. So let's take a look at the gacha banner for Kaname first before we touch on to Reina as it should have been because well Kaname did appear first. So here we have the two lovely ladies in their very joyous Christmas tree outfit. So Reina's does look a bit similar to her Halloween version it's just that this time around it's coloured with Christmas colours green, red and yellow I suppose. So yeah, so let's take a look at Kanami's episode plate and to see whether her episode plate is actually better than Reina's or maybe it is actually one of the brand new top tiering episode plates of Uta Macross. So let's take a look at the stats. So ooh, we do get right off to the back to the special notes on the episode play and Kaname actually has a special note attached to it which like most of her episode plates are they do come with item notes so if you guys have been playing Utah Macross for a very long time just like I have you know that all of Kaname's plates tend to have this special item note attached to her episode plates. She is the only diva that actually has a buttload of episode plates with this special note. So I guess Kaname kinda gives you presence within the live itself. So yeah, let's take a look at the base stats of the episode plate. So 3,874, that's the 25 luck value factor so with that said um, her total value is pretty high which is going to make Kaname's episode plate a must have considering that we've already seen this episode plate comes with a special note attached to it so all well balanced stats um, split among the total score all right so it doesn't come with an S rank center skill so that's puts it in the live skill position so let's take a look at the live skill so active skill is not S rank as well so let's not bother with it because it is definitely not going to be used as a center position episode plate so live skill itself score and repeat so if you guys are still not familiar with what it does it basically just and reactivates its skill after every 30 seconds and for 7 seconds, you get that 80% boost in score. So Kaname's episode plate is used for long duration songs, um, just like the current event song, uh, Namida no Bakuhatsu On, uh, which is also a pretty long duration song, but not the longest out there. And of course, since it's a Pink Element episode plate, it definitely helps boost in high score, um, considering that the event song is of the same color itself. So, how do I rank Kaname's episode plate? 
it is definitely a must have if you have the singing stones toss all of your singing stones to try and get this episode played at least a single copy so that when you've gotten yourself a rare up star you can actually have it um, evolve from a 5 star to a 6 star which is fantastic then of course from there if you have secret stones you can unlock the uh, secret boards to have it into the kira kira version you know, that's that's if you want to really go to the extreme so yeah so do take note though rare up star as usual always have an expiration date no matter how you obtain it from be it from the utamaku pass or uh, through the rare up star shards that you can actually exchange from the chaos exchange both ways uh, no matter how you obtain the rare up star it will always have an expiration date so make sure you use the rare up star before it expires if not well that's basically a waste of a five star episode plate all right so let's take a look at ray ray's episode plate and see uh you know, how, how does she fare as compared to Kanamis? Because Kanamis is definitely a gift for this Christmas. If you can actually get Kanamis played, wow, your collection is really up to stuff uh, when it comes to competitive Utama Cross playing. So, Rei Rei has pretty good stats on her episode play as well. Pretty much well balanced, just like Kanamis. 3859 total. And of course, not having an S rank center skill. Huh, that puts both Kaname and Reina's episode plate as sight, or rather, you know, the life skill support. Maybe because um, Makina's episode plate that featured her Christmas costume was actually a center position episode plate. Hmm. Alright, so let's move on. So, active skill A rank as well. Uh, don't really have to bother with it because that's not where you're gonna have Reina's episode play placed in. Life skill, however, S rank. It comes with the combo bonus. So this is the brand new life skill. Um, so when you go into the Cho Utahime mode um, for 10 seconds for every 50 combo you've obtained uh, since the skill activated you will gain that 35% boost in score. So multiply uh, 35% divided by, I mean times your combo, current combo divided by 50, that's your bonus value, you know, at the point of its activation. If your math is bad, well, I, I can't really help you. <laughs> just, so just put it in simple terms, um, don't break your combo. <laughs> <laughs> before you activate this skill so yeah all right so oh ray ray's plate doesn't come with a special note so that puts ray ray below kanami's episode plate so if i were to rank both of them kanami's episode plate is the highest tier in all of utah macross currently while ray ray is just a level below hers so which episode plate should you get well, both actually, because both costumes, Kaname's um, Christmas costume and Reina's Christmas costumes, uh, can only be obtained through paid gacha, which is what we're doing right now. So, there is no way to get costume points um, for both of these costumes through the event, because the current event is actually unlocking, um, if I'm not wrong, I think it was Kaname's... Um, Tenjin Sama's Valkyrie. Uh, let's just take a look. I, I have it kind of unlocked already. I just haven't done it yet. So yeah, here we go. So it is the Valkyrie for... Oh. Nah. Uh, I should probably go to a plate just to show you guys the information. As you can see, I still have some points on this one. So yeah. Uh, what am I doing? Should be holding down the image. There we go. So if you want to take a look. So this is the VF31 uh, Kaname Buccaneer Dash 01 version. So <laughs> yeah. So this is the exclusive Tenjin illustration uh, Macross Delta Valkyrie set. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with it, it was first shown during Valkyrie 3rd Live 
um, I would say two years ago. Huh. Uh, apologize for the um, <laughs> ringing of <n> notifications. <laughs> uh, okay, so yeah, like I was saying, if you guys are not familiar with this artwork for the Macross Delta Valkyries or uh, Siegfrieds, uh, whichever one you want to call it by yeah they were first shown in Valkyrie third life back in 2017 if i'm not wrong and yeah so that's why we are finally getting um close to a full complete set of uh, team chaos's uh tenjin summer edition box or sick freaks yeah so all right so let's pull Kaname's gacha first uh, or maybe I should do hers last because I definitely want to try and get her episode played um, Ray Ray's I'll just try to unlock the costume so let's do Ray Ray's first all right first with the 300 singing stone discounted version here we go we do get some loading so hopefully that means some kind of good luck or maybe because my mobile phone gave me some kind of luck to notify me about a message. <laughs> okay, so the animation doesn't look too good. We do get two red boxes, so there's a chance they might evolve to a rainbow. Hopefully. Or maybe even a normal box might evolve to a rainbow. That's a real miraculous luck right there, if it does happen. Okay, here's the red box. No evolution on this one. That's kind of a bummer, but that's okay. Alright, moving along. Oh, there was a really nice uh, combo image. <laughs> if you guys are Macross 7 fans, you will know what I mean. Alright, so pretty terrible. We do get costume points for Riri's costume though. Um, I don't know. I, should I actually pull another one? I don't think I should though. Huh. I would love to unlock Ray Ray's costume straight away, you know, because I do have Makinas and they, will, they always look nice together, so... Alright, let's go to Kaname. I think most of my singing stones might go into this one, unless I, I have some kind of miraculous luck from the first discounted pool. Alright, any loading? Yeah, we do get some loading, but a pretty fast one though, so that's not a good sign. Here we go. Oh boy, that is horrible. Okay. Oh no. Okay, so we do get the standard two red boxes, but I'm sure none of them will evolve. So let's just jump right through the entire gacha as fast as we can. Here we go. So no evolution as expected. Oh, I don't think I have this. This does not look like it was animated for the TV series. The illustration looks a bit too clean for the um, year 2008 generation of anime. I don't know. Oh, we do get costume points for Kaname. That's pretty nice. Alright. Okay, so let's exit out and go back into the 500 stone pool. Let's do this. I think I'm just gonna do one for Kanami. I'm gonna have to save up the rest of the stones for another video next time. Oh, a bit of loading, but still very quick. That's not a good sign though. Maybe I used up all my luck recently. Yeah, that looks horrible. Okay, we get a red box on the first bling. Two red boxes in total, so that's no difference from the first pool. There we go. Oh, Melane looking nice in her New Year kimono. Yeah, New Year's just right around the corner, You're just a few days away. Oh, oh, that iconic scene. Uh, machina. Okay, 
So, oh, we get to evolve it. Oh, Makina's okay now. Oh, that's pretty nice. Ah. Uh, okay, so we get kind of a happy ending at the end of this gacha. So, that's my horrible pools. Hopefully you guys got better stuff than I did. And of course, uh, uh, the minimum requirement, I suppose, is just to have the costume unlockable via episode ops. So yeah guys, uh, let me know how do you do for your own personal gacha in the comments down below as always. And of course, leave a like for this video if you appreciate all the information shared once again. And I'll see you guys soon. Maybe the weekends? If you guys are following me on my gaming content. Bye!